Hey everyone, it's Derek with OPTP, and for our Summer of Savings, this week is Foam Roller Week. Today, we're going to be engaging in three different strength training exercises that you can do with your foam roller. Let's get started. Okay, so for all three of these exercises, today I'm going to be using my Black Axis Firm Foam Roller, and through all three moves, we are going to be targeting the lower half of the body, so really getting deep into the legs. We're going to begin with a single leg hip hinge with forward reach and hip extension. So a pretty complex exercise. I'm gonna put one foot out front, the back leg, toe, uh, toes are down, heel is up, and I'm gonna hip hinge forward. Now, what I'm gonna do is simultaneously reach forward with my uh, roller with the arms extended as I lift that back leg and move deeper into my hip hinge, trying to reach a position where I'm nice and parallel with the floor. Of course, this might not be available to everyone, so do what you can. We're gonna come back up after a slight pause, tap the toe to the floor, and then simply repeat. It might take a few repetitions to get your bearings here. This is, a, again, a pretty complex movement where we're really engaging all those large muscles along the back side of the leg and, of course, getting into the upper half of the body as well. Try to move through 10 to 15 repetitions. If you need a little bit of a regression here, just leave the uh, back toes and the back leg rested hip hinge deeper with that nice neutral spine and just begin those forward reaches. This is a nice exercise to begin with here, still creating strength this time across the upper half of the body. It's also a nice little mobility exercise, getting in some thoracic extension, getting the lats involved here. And as we progress, we can begin to uh, get the lower half of the body involved by then leaving the upper half still and lifting that back leg into hip extension. This is a nice little way to warm up before doing the full exercise. Either way, that single leg balance with forward reach and hip extension is a great movement to build some strength across the body. Okay, for our second exercise, we're gonna engage in some wood chop squats. I'm gonna get the feet set just outside hips width. I'm gonna extend the arms out in front with my roller grasp on either side. I'm gonna descend into my squat, keeping the chest up, really loading into those heels. My depth is gonna be dependent on my ability, of course. Now, as I descend, I'm gonna drop the arms and bring the roller off to one side of the body. As I ascend, I'm gonna bring the roller up and across the body in the opposite direction, turn onto those toes and reach, really reach, extending across the hips and really getting the trunk involved. Now we're gonna make it one fluid movement. So I descend, bring it up, ascend, bring it over, roll onto those toes. And now I can repeat here, really getting everything engaged. Great core exercise, great lower body exercise. You can speed it up to get some cardio involved as well. And of course, don't forget to do the exercise, engaging the other side of the body. Okay, our third and final exercise is called a three-point leg lift. This is great for creating stability in the hips and in the trunk. All I'm gonna do is turn to the side here. I'm gonna rest one end of the roller on the top of the foot and then the same side hand goes on top. I'm gonna to begin by applying some pressure deep into that roller through this arm and of course wanting that pressure, that strength to originate from the trunk here. So I'm using those core muscles to create pressure between the foot and the hand squeezing that roller. From this position, it's a three point leg raise again. So all I'm gonna do is maintain that deep contraction, stabilize through the grounded leg. I'm gonna begin lifting to the front, back to center, out to the side, keeping that pressure, back to center. Then I'm gonna let this knee flex a little bit more as I hip hinge forward, keeping that deep pressure within the roller, returning to center and then moving through it again. So your range of motion is gonna look a little different depending on your level of mobility and strength here. Again, really focus on keeping pressure between the foot and the roller the whole time to really get deep into the trunk and into the hips. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the Black Axis Firm Foam Roller, just go to optp.com. While you're there, don't forget to check out all the great content and sales that we have going on this week as part of our Summer of Savings. Thanks.